Today I'm going to be installing a lock set and a deadbolt. Uh, I'm using Easy Set. It's a it's a decent brand. It's kind of cheaper, um, and it it looks pretty uh, pretty nice. I'm using a brush nickel, it's a little bit more expensive, but I like the way it looks. And right now it's uh, really really popular. All right, I'm going to go ahead start off with the latch. Uh, check and see if it fits first. If it does not, you just use a regular uh, box knife, kind of. First you kind of make a little line around it, then you pull it back out and uh, cut with the areas that it's not fitting in, but this one seems to be fitting pretty well. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to have to cut that out, but if you do, and some brands you do have to cut out, they grab a couple of the small screws from the box. They have directions in there too, but the directions are a little bit harder to follow on some of these. Go ahead, put that in. All right, so you put the the out, outside uh, where the the lock is on first. And you slide this in. You kind of sometimes have to play with the the lock to get a fit, and then tightens up on there. You grab the two, two longer screws. You can tell they have a funny little end on them. That's great. all right. And then you put them on both sides. Uh, sometimes on some lock sets like this one, you actually have to unlock it and bend the lever down to get the screw in. Just kind of hand guide it, the screwdriver. Um, then uh, start installing the deadbolt, check and see if it fits. It actually needs to be cut down a little bit, so I'm gonna grab my box cutter and make the mark. I have to cut it out. And then you pull it back out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in here. As you can see, there are some little gaps. You can fill that uh, later with some hole filler uh, and some spackling hole filler, and you paint over it, and it's just fine. Or wood filler works pretty well too. Put that in there, turn, and see how they always. This is how they're made. The, the screw holes are covered. You lock it, and then you can get to your screw hole. All right, then I got the the longer screws have come to a little point. Usually, most brands, they're they kind of sort of look all the same. You guide that and you're going to have to try to find your screw hole in there. You can do that both. Kind of have to, sometimes you have to pull it out and look and readjust it so you can line up your holes. And you just have to play with it until it catches in the cot. Alright, the last thing I'm going to do is put the latches on. Uh, this one is for has this little funny looking thing hanging down. That's actually for the door latch. Goes there. And this one that looks like that, just regular square, no pop outs on the back. That's the one for your deadbolt. Goes up here. Okay. You're gonna, gonna wanna go ahead and close your door, make sure everything lines up. It does. So, make sure everything locked. The door is now set. The lock set's uh, installed. Everything's working fine. All I have left to do is uh, drywall repair, or put insulation in, drywall repair, put the trim on, which I'm going to do all at a later time.